Hello friends, this video on probability part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. What's an example? Here uh, we have to again find probability of E given F, where E is at least 2 heads and F is at most 2 heads in a toss of 3 coins. Let's solve this using the formulas. So, probability of E given F is nothing but probability of E intersection F by probability of F. So for this, we have to find the even E and F first, right? So, E will be what? At least two heads. First, let me write the whole sample space first. So, you may get a head or a then you may get a head or a tail, head or a tail. And again, you may get a head or a tail, head or a tail. Again, head or a tail, again, head or a tail. So, if you write this, this becomes H H H H H T H T H. HTT THH THT TTH and TTT Right? This is my whole sample space. E is at least two heads, that is two or more heads. Right? This guy is true, yes. This guy is two or more heads, yes. Two or more heads, yes. No. Yes. That's all. So E will be H H H H H T H T H and T H H. This is my E. F is at most two heads, that is zero, one or two heads, right? This is true, yes. No, because it has three heads. This is true, yes. So let me write, uh, draw underline here. Yes, at most two heads, yes. At most two heads, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. So let me write this guy. F S H S T H T H all the underline H T T T H H T H T TTH and T. This is my E and this is my F. The formula says I have to find the intersection of E and F. So let's find E intersection F. That is nothing but this guy is common. No. HHT is common. HHT, yes. This guy is common. STH common. STH here. STH here. Yes. Common. THH. Yes, each is here. Three are common. So my intersection will be HHT, HTH, and TTH. So now probability of E intersection F will be 1, 2, 3, 3 by 8, right? So this becomes 3 by 8. And probability of F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 elements, 7 by 8. And that is nothing but 3 by 7. And that is my answer. Correct. So using the formula, I can easily find the probability of E condition that F has already exist. You find the sample space, you find elements E, you find elements F, you find E intersection F because that is required. And then you find the probability of this E intersection F that is 3 by total number of elements 8. Probability of F that is 7 by say, 7 by total number of elements that is 8. And you get that. Again, we have to find probability of E given F if a die is thrown three times, where four appears on the third toss is my E condition, and F condition is six, and F five appears respectively on first two tosses. So we have three 
uh, die and we throw these three die and we define P E given F where E is 4 appears from the first third task. So this guy gets 4 and this guy is 6 and 5 respectively on first two tasks. So we have to find the probability of this, right? Probability of this given this. So I can solve using a, a formula also. Let's do this. I'll use both the approach in this case. So f is 6 and 5 appears respectively on first toss. That means you get 6, 5 and some number x. You may get 6, 5, 1. You may get 6, 5, 2. You may get 6, 5, 3. 6, 5, 4. 6, 5, 5 and 6, 5, 6. Six possible options. Correct? This is my F. Because F says that 6 and 5 appears respectively on the first two toss. Correct? E is 4 appears on the third toss. That means E can be any number X, Y and 4. Correct. So my 4 is constant. Can be that means it can be 1, 1, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 4, 4, 1, 5, 4, 1, 6, 4. Right. Similarly, you go like this 2, 1, 4, like this. You go to 2, 6, 4. Right. Then you go till 6, 6, 1, 4. 624, 634, till 664. Right? So, how many elements? 6 into 6. 36 elements. And this guy has 6. So this is my E set, this is my F set. What will be E intersection F? So, 6, 5 is my uh, this guy. Here I have some number 654, I think. This guy is my common between this and this. So my A intersection F will be 6, 5, 4 actually, this guy. 6, 5, 4. One common element between these and this. Because this guy says uh, 4 in the last and this guy says 6 and 5 in the first. There's only one common element, 6, 5, 4. So using the formula, if you see, P, E given F is nothing but P of E intersection F by P of F. P of E intersection F will be 1 by 216 because there are 216 elements 6 into 6 into 6. If you arrange this right, there can be 216 elements. Total in the sample space will be 216 6 into 6 into 6 because the first die can give one of the 6 numbers, second die can also give one of the 6 numbers and third die can also give one of the 6 numbers. So this is P of intersection f divided by p of f will be there are six elements six by two one six you get one by six as the conditional probability of getting e given f let's use the same thing using the, the diagram so you throw since the condition is f here you may get f or you may not get f you get f dash right correct so f is nothing but you have 6, 5, x form and this guy is anything other than this, right? Anything other than 6, 5, x form. So, probability of this is there are 6 possible options that we have seen. So, this guy is 6 by 2, 1, 6 and this guy will be 1 minus this that is 210 by 2, 1, 6, right? This guy is that. Now, in this, if you see, the options are 6, 5, 1. 652, 653, 654, 655, and 656. Correct? Only these options because it's 65x form. And I am looking for a fourth in the last one, that is this one. So only one condition out of six. So probability of E slash F will be. Why? Because this condition is already true F. So my base is now this guy. Now with this, there are only six possible options and I'm looking for this guy where the third number is four. So that has equal chances, all has equal chance, all six of these have equal chance. So this guy has 
one by six chance. All has one by six chance. This guy also has one by six chance. And this is what I'm looking for. So if you see in both the case, you get the same answer. Let's take one more example. So here we have to find again P, E given F. If mother, father and son, they are line up at random for a family picture. And they are conditions given. Son is on one end, father is in the middle. So if you see the sample space, how what we can do is there are three people, right? So we can arrange them into eight possible way. Two into two into two, right? So this guy can have mother, right? Mother in two options, father in two options, and son in two options. If I have mother here, I can say father son, or I can say son father. If I have father here. I can say mother son or son mother. I have son here, mother mother father remaining, mother father or father mother. Right? Eight possible options. I can arrange them. So this is my sample space. E is son on the end. So let me write E here. Son on the end is this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Right? So E will have these guys. MFS, FMS, SMF, son, father, mother. This is my E. F is father in the middle. So this guy is this guy and this guy. Only two elements. That is mother, father, son, son, father, mother. So I have all this set now. Let's use the direct formula. I'll use P E given F is nothing but probability of E intersection F divided by probability of F. Probability of E intersection F, what will be the E intersection F? What is the common between these two? So if you see both are common actually, right? Both these elements are here. MFS is here and SFM is also here. So this guy becomes uh, probability of these right e intersection f if you see here right here both element mfs and s that is 2 by whole uh, this whole sample space count 8 right 2 by 8 divide by probability of 8 is what again f is 2 by 8 2 by 8 by 2 by 8 that is so probability of E given F is 1. Correct. Let's draw the same thing using the diagram. So I have my family. My condition is F and here will be F dash. F is father in the middle. Father in the middle, two options. So it is 2 by 8 and father not in the middle is 1 minus 2 by 8, 6 by 8. If father is in the middle, I have only two options. MFS or SFM. The second condition is probability of getting E sun in the end. Both has sun in the end. That means my probability is one here, conditional probability, because this is already given. Since this is given, I am concerned only about this. In this set, I am asked to find the probability of getting sun in the end. I see in both the scenarios, sun is in the end. So probability of getting sun in the end in this case is one. So if you see both gives the same answer. You use this way or this way, both gives the same answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.